morning, everybody. Jill here. I am going to make a really brief, I hope, short video. I don't have much time. I'm dressed for work. I really hope I don't get any ink on my sleeves because I have to wear this shirt to work. So I'm going to do a really brief journal page. Nothing new, nothing earth shattering, just what I'm working on this morning. I'm starting with an old book page. I have my porcelain palette out with some of my favorite. I'm really on a tear lately with this earth brown platinum mixable ink. I use a pipette, a, these cheap pipettes to get it out of the bottle and into the palette. I might at the end, well, yes, I will definitely at the end, at the end, <laughs> sorry, use the same ink in my fountain pen. So let's just, I'm just going to start. All I'm going to do is take some ink on a brush. Now this is, hmm, maybe I'll put a little water in there because my first coat could be lighter. I'm going to just make a, a really simple girl. No pencil. All right, let's start with two eyes. This brush is separating a little bit. I hope it works out. Okay. I don't have a lot to talk about while I'm at this. Just know that you don't have to have this ink. You can use, you could use watercolor. You could use any ink that you have. Um, anything that'll just go on in layers. It's very snowy and cold here. It snowed a little more again last night. I'm in New Jersey, in case you didn't know, um, in the U.S. And it causes so many problems at work when we get snow. So many staff call out. There's all kinds of issues with staffing, so I hope today works out okay. We really didn't get that much snow. We only got an inch or two. I am just layering the paint, paint, the ink on. It'll dry. Uh, the way it wants, this paper is nice and absorbent. For an old book page, I really, really like it. Okay. She's looking a little evil in the eyes there, isn't she? Nose got a little messy, but that's very typical of me lately. <laughs> I want this to be simple and quick. I would like for this page to be done literally in 15 minutes because some days that's all the time I have. I'm not going to outline her face. There is a suggestion of a chin and a neck. Um, going to thin a little bit of this out with some water, dab some off, go back in here. I decided to put some more brown in her eyes. I'm going to have to go back in like I did before with uh, some white Posca or some white paint of some kind to fix up her eyes there. Okay. In the lines of keeping it simple, let's give her just a suggestion of hair. One spot. That's about it. That's all I want to do. I'm going to hit it real quick with a dryer though. In order to bring this in in under 15 minutes, I'm going to have to use the dryer. I will mute this part so I don't blast you out with the sound. still in the screen. I think I am. Now I can go back, load up with some nice dark, put a second layer there. See how that makes a difference? I don't know if I want it all that dark on her nose. Let's take that back off. 
but I want a little more dark here, here, right under the chin. My hand and my brush might be in the way of you seeing what's going on there. Let's add a little bit of depth in her hair. Just randomly. I think that's enough. Rinse out my brush. I'll clean that better later. Make sure I get the ink out of that. Dryer again. Maybe I'll speed up the dryer parts, but I want to. I really want you to see how fast this goes in real time. So hopefully I won't be speeding anything up. Okay, sorry about that, I was getting my journal out. I'm going to take this page and just randomly tear that side like that. I think that's good enough. Move this out of the way. Okay, I'm in the screen. So, I'm going to put her on here. I purchased these I don't even know how to pronounce it. It's an Italian name. They say it's the best glue sticks ever. It does smell nice. It's got a nice coconut smell, but I don't know if it's any better than other glue sticks or not for the money that it costs. Let's do this. Pardon me while I put on the glue stick. I'll try and think of something else to talk about. <laughs> should be plenty. All right, I'm just going to put her on. Press it down real well, which is why I had to dry it. Just didn't want it smearing all over. So look at that, what we got going there. How fast was that? You know, I know it's not all about speed, but a lot of days I just don't have time. I work full time. All right. So now, just to finish off the page, I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to do my scribble journal. If you've seen any of my videos, you know that I scribble journal. I It's probably going to be boring for you to watch. Um, maybe I will have to speed that part up, but I'm going to make my journaling... Look, I can't think about what I'm writing and talk at the same time. <laughs> I'm going to make my writing kind of create that side of her face here without putting a side of the face. So maybe I'll put a little music in um, so I can think about what I want to <laughs> brain dump and let go of this morning before work.
So there's my journaling. I think that's a pretty cool page, just like that. I uh, My paper might be fragile. I could go back and add a few darks with the pen, but I'm not sure it's really needed. There. Little definition there. Oh, I made her, no, I made her nose way too dark. <laughs> it's all right. It's only an art journal. Only an art journal. Last thing. Let's take my Posca pen. Oh, that sinks right, sinks right in. Don't know if that's really going to be effective. Hmm. Not sure I like that. It creates a tan. Clean it off a little. Use my, my towel. It's all right. So, like I said, nothing spectacular, nothing new or exciting, but a nice little page. Went together quickly. I got something done in my journal before I go to work. I hope you all get a chance to create something today. And remember, everything doesn't have to be a giant piece of art. I uh, hope you are well and safe and keeping warm. And I will see you again soon.